So let's take a look at respiratory system on this model. Starting here from what we call a nostril, we see the external nares, which is the opening into the nasal cavity. Nasal cavity is going to have superior, middle, and inferior nasal concha or nasal turbinates. So as air comes through these passageways, it's going to be turbulent and the dust particles is coming in contact with the mucous membranes and the hair so the air gets cleaned and it also gets warmed closer to body temperature on its way towards the lower respiratory tract. Back here is the posterior nares which is the posterior border of the nasal cavity also called the chone. And after the nasal cavity we have nasopharynx so this is the uppermost region of the pharynx. Below nasopharynx is the oropharynx, which is pos posterior to the oral cavity. And below the oropharynx is the laryngopharynx, which is just behind the entrance to the larynx. A couple things we see in the nasopharynx. We've got the entrance or the ostium for the auditory tube, or the eustachian tube, or the pharyngeotympanic tube. So this is heading into the middle ear and is going to allow equalization of pressure between the nasopharynx and the middle ear. Also up here we see pharyngeal tonsil, it's kind of orange looking structure. That's mostly lymph tissue. As we move down into the oropharynx, we can see the uvula, which is the little dangly thing in the, the posterior side of your mouth, that will cover the nasopharynx when food is being swallowed so that food doesn't go up into the nasopharynx or nasal cavity. And down here represents the palatine tonsils. Above the uvula is soft palate, so this muscular portion here with some fat. And then where there's bone present is the hard palate. As we get down into the larynx, we can see vestibular fold and vocal fold. Um, epiglottis is this blue piece of cartilage in the tissue here. Thyroid cartilage there cricoid cartilage here and here. So larynx here, esophagus posterior to that here.